everyone, welcome back. So today I wanted to show you this gem that I recently got. It is the Tarte brush set. It is part of their holiday collection. I did not even know that this was out. I didn't see it on the Sephora website um, and haven't really heard anybody talk about this, but all their stuff is out right now as far as their holiday collection, all their palettes or blush palettes and their lip palette, you know, like everything is out. And I saw this and this one actually really intrigued me. Um, I love the brand. I pretty much love everything I've ever bought from them. I've never used their brushes before. However, I've heard really good things about them. So hopefully these will be just as good. There are a total of five actual brushes in this set. However, four of them are double-sided, and so you're getting nine brushes for $44, which is such a good deal, such a good deal. So this is what it looks like, and it comes with this really nice case, which sounds like this. So it's a little bit heavy, it's got some weight to it, and it's very sturdy, so it's good for travel. A little bit heavy for travel, um, so, you know, it's got the pros and cons, slightly heavy, but very sturdy, so anything you put in there, you know, if your bag is tossed around or your luggage is tossed around, it's going to stay nice and protected. So on this side is all of the brushes and it actually comes packaged with these guys. But for the sake of saving some time, I take them all off. And then on this side, this is really, really cool. So this is magnetic for, it's basically like a mini Z palette on the other side. So you can put um, whatever you want. You can put all your favorite eyeshadows, blushes, you know, anything that's on a pan that can click on there and basically take all your favorites with you and you got pretty much all the brushes you need in here. And if you don't, you add a few. There's definitely extra room they've left you some room to add some brushes, which is nice. So I thought that was really neat too, because you're getting this really good quality travel case for brushes and lots of other makeup. But anyway, the brushes that come with it look like this. They're in gold, it's limited edition, it does say Tarte on it. Hopefully you can see that, there you go. And so this one, I believe, is the double-ended foundation brush. So you've got a nice, dense, almost kabuki-like brush that you could put foundation on with this. And then on this side, you've got more of a dome-shaped, um, they're calling this a foundation brush. You can use it as a foundation brush, you know, more under the eyes or like, you know, around the nose or harder places to reach than this brush. Um, but, you don't have to. I mean, brushes are universal. You can use them for whatever serves your purpose. I actually thought that this would be really good as a contour brush, so we'll see. I'm gonna try them all out. And then you get this brush, which is super cute and fluffy and soft. And these are all synthetic. So again, it looks like this. It's so nice and fluffy on this side. And basically the same exact thing on the other side just smaller so what this one I believe this is the um, cheek and highlighter brush I keep wanting to say blush <laughs> it's like a tongue twister so anyway that is what this is for so you get that oh and you also get this double-sided concealer brush that looks like this so on this side you have a nice dense dome shape and on this side you have a nice and sturdy flat brush and so basically, you can use this side to apply stuff under your eyes, nose, anywhere you want to. And then you can use something that's more defined. And you know, if you have some spots or things like that you need to cover up, that you need a little bit um, more definition or something a little bit more precise, you can use this brush. You can honestly also use this as a lip brush because it's very, very similar to a lot of lip brushes that, that I have seen. So again, it's multi-purpose. Then you get this double-sided eyeshadow brush and it comes with this side, which is again, very dense, really good for packing the eyeshadow on. And this side is fluffier and I would say it's medium sized, so good for the crease, for blending out. It's not as big as what I typically use for um, laying down my transition shade. Um, this will give you more color payoff than you know, a typical big fluffy brush, but I'm going to use it 
for both and see how it works. Um, but again, you can always pop that in your kit if you're traveling and you want that big fluffy brush. Or, you know, just use what you got here um, on a daily basis and just kind of add to whatever's missing. I actually plan on using these on a daily basis, um, but again, they're great for travel. And then, last but not least, you get this really pretty brush. This is the only one that is one-sided, just like a regular brush. And they call this one the complexion brush. So it just looks like a powder brush. You can use it as a powder brush. Um, it is fluffy enough to put powder on and not super dense like a kabuki brush. But it's also slightly dense. I would say like medium. See how it kind of, it doesn't quite, like if it was really soft, it would just, you know, go like that, but it doesn't. And so what you can also use this for, if you have a mineral foundation, you could probably use this to buff that in. So complexion brush, I think they're just basically giving you a generalized, you know, idea of all the different things that you can use this brush for. So anyway, that is what the palette looks like. I'm going to do a separate tutorial um, using all these brushes so you can actually see them in action, see how they blend out. Um, and this way I can get an idea and give you, you know, a review on if I think they're worth it or not. Um, so far, just by looking at it, I think this is such a good deal. So I'm gonna use all of the brushes that are in this palette do a makeup tutorial. I'm gonna use a majority of Tarte products. Um, I don't have, you know, all Tarte products if I'm not using a lip liner, because I don't have one that's Tarte. Um, but I am gonna use a lot of Tarte products just to kind of, you know, make it a Tarte theme. Um, love the line. Beautiful, beautiful, high quality products. And everything I've, I've, actually everything I've ever gotten from them, I have loved. So I have high hopes for this guy. Um, so yeah, if you want to see how I achieve a look with these brushes and how they work, then stay tuned and keep on watching. Okay, so I'm already moisturized and primed and eyebrows are on. And I'm just going in with the Amazonian Clay 12-Hour Foundation by Tarte. And I'm going to be blending in with this new brush and it worked beautifully, beautifully. I didn't see any streakiness. It wasn't quite as dense as um, the Sigma brush that I typically use, but it did a great job. Then I'm going with Tarte's Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. I haven't used this in a while, and I just warmed it up between my fingers and placing it in the places I usually place concealer. Probably could have used a brush for this, but I wanted uh, to really warm up the product because it's pretty thick. Then I'm using the concealer brush, and again, it did a wonderful, wonderful job. The only thing I would say is, like right there on the forehead, um, it just did take a little bit longer than you know a typical kabuki or a beauty blender would take, but it blended everything in seamlessly. Then going in with the complexion brush, I am going to highlight under my eyes, and I'm going to be using the two colors you just saw from the original Anastasia contour kit. And this actually did another good job. Um, it kind of stipples the powder in, which is what I was trying to do to get that to set and another plus. And then I took the Laura Mercier translucent powder, same brush, and just did the rest of my face pretty much the same way. I find this technique helps my foundation last longer throughout the day. Then going in with that foundation brush, I am going to pick up some of that color you see right there from an old Tarte palette, and I'm going to contour. So yes, this is a foundation brush, but I'm using it as a contour. It fits beautifully right under the cheekbone and did a wonderful job. So this brush is pretty precise and pinpointed all of the areas that I typically highlight. It did a really great job under the cheekbones and the jawline. Um, would I use it as a contour brush all the time? Probably not, but it did a great, great job. Then I went into back to the concealer brush and I used that to contour my nose. Going in with Tarte's Park Avenue Princess, I'm using the fluffier side of the cheek and highlight brush and I'm going to bronze the rest of my face. I love this brush. It is so, so soft and it did a great job. So even if you're heavy-handed, the combo of this 
bronzer and the brush. It's so subtle and blended beautifully. I'm curious to see how it works on other bronzers. Using an old holiday palette from Tarte, I think it was from Tears Back, I'm going in with that blush color that you see there and using the same brush, super, super soft, blends beautifully, tapping it on and then moving it backwards as I typically do with blush. Then I am using the other side to highlight. I picked up a little bit of Champagne Pop and I don't have any Tarte highlighters at this time and it did a great job highlighting. All the typical places, no issues. Both of those brushes are awesome. Then I'm taking the shadow brushes and using that, looks like a um, creamish color right there. I don't have the names. And again, this is limited edition, so use whatever you have. And then using the other side in that color, it's a transition color, and it actually did a really, really good job as a transition color brush. Moving on to that taupey color that you see there, I'm going to intensify the outer V and crease. And this brush, I'm gonna use it for all the colors. So I'm not switching out because I really wanna get a sense of how it blends. Going in with a deeper color, intensifying the outer V and doing some more blending. And I will say that it did a beautiful job blending all the shadows out. And I'm curious to see using it with other shadows. I'll keep you posted because Tarte shadows blend beautifully as it is. And so it's hard to say. But anyway, I'm doing the typical um, pigment in the outer, outer V and the inner corner of the eye and just kind of blending whatever is left on the brush in the crease and then intensifying it slightly with that dark green color that you saw there and doing the same exact thing and just blending it out to make it look seamless and basically so you can't see where one color starts and the other stops. Then going in with that color right there, I was going to pop that on the center of my lid with my finger, but I did this three times, so bear with me. <laughs> that is the second color. None of them were really making me happy, and then that one actually was the winner. So if you want to, there we go. Perfect. So if you want to make it look more intense, um, I find that doing that with your finger works really well. And then blending it with that same brush just to make it look seamless again. Then I took that concealer brush and I actually used it for smudging the shadow on my lower lash line and it did a great job. So you can actually use it for three things, which is awesome. Um, lip liner, concealer, and shadow. And then I just took that other brush that I've been using the whole time, took that transition color and smoking out the lower lash line. Then I'm taking that same color I popped on my lid and using it as an inner corner highlight. So I'm gonna tight line my eyes and place it in the waterline as usual. I'm using Coffee for MAC. Curling my lashes. And I'm gonna go in with Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes to prep my eyes for some individual falsies that I'm gonna do off camera. Going in with Max Lip Liner. You guys that watch my channel know this is one of my faves. And I'm just lining my lips. Then going in with Tarte's Lip Sculpture. So this is a lipstick and a lip gloss. This color is Sass and it's gorgeous. And I got it during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty and it was so worth it. Um, so yeah, it has the lipstick on one side, the gloss on the other, feels creamy, looks beautiful, love the color. So here's the final look using all the brushes in this holiday collection. And I can say with the products used today, the brushes did a great job. Nothing was patchy, nothing was streaky. Everything blended beautifully, felt good on the skin. So I really think they're good quality. Are they as good as the Tarte brushes that are, you know, not limited edition? I don't know because I've not used them, but I do really like these brushes and I'm curious to see how they work with other products. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.